Hey, everybody. Hi, welcome, welcome. Thanks for being here. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys sit in the shade, and I'm going to stay back here. You can all hear me okay? Everybody yeah. good? Stephen, thank you so much for hosting this and getting this organized for us. Thank you very much. And to our host, Dave Schumlitt at Burgoff. Nice to have the space. So we're very grateful for that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just share a few thoughts with you. Uh, and then I'm going to introduce Liv, who's on my, uh, my campaign team. And uh, she'll take it to the next step of what we plan for today. So I'm so grateful for you to be here today to join me in this, in this time together. So my name is Diana Shoemaker, and I'm running for County Commission District 3. Woo! All right! For more than 20 years, I've served this community, and now I'm ready to serve in a new way. It was the sunshine and my family and a great job opportunity with Kirkwood Church as an education director that brought me here to Manatee County. And I'm thrilled to have made my home here and raised our children with my husband, Mark, here. I care deeply for Manatee County, but I have grown increasingly concerned about the direction our local leadership is taking us. I'm running because I believe the community we love is in jeopardy. Those who have been elected to serve are not doing their job. They're not leading with a collective vision. They're not paying attention to what matters. And they're certainly not listening to us when we disagree with the direction they're taking us. This current county commission continues to allow citizens speaking up about opposition to the issues that and the be benefits that they provide for, for the developers. And over and over again, they ignore our voices. They've lost our trust. We read about deals and scandals with no accountability. We watch our county commissioners berate and mock their constituents from the dais. The issues, the local issues that come before our county commission are of a non-political nature, and yet we continue to see them place personal political agendas at center stage. This current county commission continues to ignore and reject the legitimate and clear concerns of our residents and go on to make short-term decisions that benefit a select few but these short-term decisions will have a long-term impact on the economic stability and well-being of the majority of residents in Manatee County. This is not the local government we want. This is not the local government we deserve. What we want is a local government that pays attention to the needs of all of its residents while managing the inevitable growth and change that comes over time. What we want is a local government that takes into account the important issues while managing the future, and we need well-informed and thoughtful decisions as they manage the future while still protecting the wetlands, paying attention to our traffic and safety needs, and building enough housing for all of our residents. As we grow, we need to take into consideration the long-term impact on our natural environment. Our wetlands are part of that natural environment. It's that environment that drew many of us here to Manatee County, and it's the one that fuels our tourist economy. But with that gift comes great responsibility. We need to work alongside experts in planning for the future so that we don't jeopardize our economic, economic stability and our ecological diversity. As we grow, we need to consider the long-term impact on our infrastructure. We can't let development get ahead of the infrastructure needed to support it. The role of the county commissioner is to work alongside residents and local leaders as they advise and assist and advocate for the unique infrastructure needs of our local community. And as we grow, we need to understand what affordability means in this community and build housing stock accordingly. As the former CEO and president of Manatee County Habitat, I've talked to a lot of families struggling to find affordable housing here in Manatee County. 
what I know is that if we don't build housing for all of our residents, we risk our economic viability. As County Commissioner, I will work to reclaim the conversation so they're once again focused on the local issues and address the short term, the short term current needs and the long term needs of this community. As County Commissioner, I will work to restore your voice and power in the discussions we have in this community. And I will work to rebuild confidence that your voice matters in a process of open dialogue and transparent decision making. I hope you will join me in this effort. And I look forward to working alongside you to bring about the positive change we seek for the community we love. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. So, um, if you got a t-shirt, thank you. Uh, please wear those out in the community. Wear the buttons. Get the name out. We have some friends here from districts other than District 3. Very much appreciated that support in helping us get the word out throughout the whole community. Because you never know. I'm going to tell you some good news. At the end of December, and you probably already heard this, at the end of December, uh, we were able to complete and collect the number needed for getting me on the ballot in November. We collected 556 petitions to get me on the ballot, so in three months. So thank you, thank you, all of you. That's what, it, that's what happens when we tell each other and talk to each other about the needs of this community. People sign that petition willingly, quickly. So I'm excited about that. So wear t-shirts, buttons. If you have some place that you think I should be speaking, please let me know. It could be a homeowners association, it could be a, a civic group that you think, any place you think that I need to be speaking and getting the word out, please let me know. Certainly, this is a grassroots campaign and every dollar matters. It matters, it matters. Um, it's not going to be competing with the big money, so every dollar matters. So thank you so much. And we have some cards um, and, and envelopes over there if you're interested in helping out as well. Be sure to share our information on social media. Wear your shirt, put a button next to your hat, whatever it takes. You know, get the word out. So um, thank you. I appreciate the support. This is an uphill battle. Uh, definitely will be an uphill battle. But we will do this together in creating a conversation that is the one we want to have in Manton County. So thank you all. Thank you very much. We see some more friends arrive. Thank you guys. Good to see you. Uh, 